it f***ing worked. Hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again, and I know my face is in another nail tutorial. It's getting kind of weird. There's a little too much face going on on this channel. I recently saw Bunny from Graveyard Girl, hello to all my Swamp family members, do a video on a device that was supposed to steam off her gel nails. And I cried and died on the inside for her watching that piece of shit ruin her nails. Well, to be honest, I'm not really sure if it was the device itself, the gel polish itself, the application of the gel polish or chipping away at it that made her nails get eaten alive. Because I am not a nail technician or any kind of licensed professional in the nail field. I just have an entire channel about this thing that I'm not qualified to talk about. But I thought that the situation was so desperate that I wanted to save Bunny and help her find a better way to remove those gel nails. First of all, full disclosure, I don't wear gel nails ever, mostly because they take forever to take off, obviously. And if you haven't noticed, I do my nails a lot, so I need to change them a lot and gel polish is dumb when you're doing that but I got an idea because we all know how much I love my peel off base coat but because I'm kind of afraid of using gel and it ruining my good hand and I can't have that happen I'm gonna use it on my other hand that no one sees and no one cares about. <laughs> the reject hand. You're the reject. I'm gonna risk your life instead of yours. Let's get to it. Ah, okay, no more face. We're back to normal. Let me introduce you to my right hand. I call her Cindy. Yes, both my hands have different nail shapes and lengths. Don't hate. Respect the diversity. I was also wearing the peel-off base coat under this linear hollow, and I had it on for an entire week. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's chipping around the corners, but that's kind of what you expect. Anyways, let's get to the actual point of this video. Yes, let's do that now. Thank you. This is the specimen we will be testing today. I put the link down below in the video description box if you wish to check it out. I normally use just one coat, but for this experiment, I'm going to use two because I assume that gel polish will be more difficult to get off than regular polish. I'm randomly using this gel polish that I've never used in my life and we'll see how it's gonna go. First of all, gel applies really weird. I'm probably putting it on too thick than you're supposed to because I read online that you're supposed to do this in very thin coats one at a time, but I don't care, it's time to bake. I'm just using one of those cheap at home LED gel nail dryer curing machines. Woohoo, I'm raving. When the light turns off, that means I'm done. I think. And now it's time to do a second coat. This application is boring. Let's listen to a short story time. Funny story, the first time I heard about Graveyard Girl because I was so clueless to the YouTube world before a year ago was when I made my very first scale gradient nails and I called them alligator scale gradient because they were like green colors. And everyone started tagging Graveyard Girl on my Instagram posts and I was like, who the f are you tagging? Like, you're tagging some girl in a graveyard? Like, that's creepy, that's weird. Okay, I think I'm done, but then I touched my finger and it was all sticky. Why are you so nasty, gel polish? And then I googled it and found out that this is supposed to happen. Weird. So I'm just wiping off the sticky shit with some alcohol. Ah, perfect. I think. So then I went about my day for a day, and a day later, it was time to do the peel test. Let's start with you, thumb, to reduce the damage. If this shit ruins my nails, then people care less about my thumb on my opposite hand. But yo, <gasps> this shit is actually working. Did you see that pop? Replay, replay, replay. This is so satisfying. I mean, I love peeling all things off my nails. The gel, I mean, it just bonds to itself, like a really hard but still soft and malleable shell. We open the door and we close the door. We open the door, we close the door. So yeah, in conclusion, this peel off base coat works amazing with gel polish, at least after 24 hours. I'm still annoyed I'm gonna have to clean under my nails with acetone though. So, because I love science and I want to show you guys real empirical evidence, I'm gonna redo the test but leave it on for seven days. Only time will tell. Time will prove science. So let's just show you me applying this again because it's so fun to do. After last time, I think I learned that you have to wrap the tip of the nail with the peel off base coat too. So definitely wrap the tip, ladies. Wrap the tip. Oh, I see my eczema really decided to come out and say hi today. Protection layer locked in. So I'm gonna try a different color this time. I'm gonna go for a teal-ish color because it matches, not my shirt, but my sweatpants. Oh shit, I just realized this isn't the gel polish. This is the regular color. Good job, Christine. I was wondering why it was so easy to apply. Yes. 
love this shit. I love this shit. Shake it up. Shake, 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 shake it up. Are you supposed to shake gel polish? Now remember, Christine, very thin coats. You have to at least appear like you know what you're doing. People expect more from this channel. Don't worry, I won't forget about you, Coke fingernail. All right, bake me. Okay, well, you're not gonna get like a close-up view of this time because that's just so complicated. So many camera angles. How many cameras do you think I have? Whoop. We have slipped into the portal. Kinda looks like my nails are in a tanning bed. Wonder if my nails are gonna get cancer. Ah, just kidding. I don't mean to cause a moral panic. We're all gonna die of something one day. You didn't know that. Okay, we're done. Coat number two. Oops, I did it again. By the way, is anyone jealous of my opposite hand painting skills? Bake, motherfucker, bake. It's like when I had an easy bake oven, except I can't eat my nails. Am I beautiful yet? I would love for the magic school bus to take a ride inside of a bottle of nail polish. Is that show still even running? It would have to be a trip in a bottle of holographic nail polish though. Because a trip in any other kind would be just boring and you would learn absolutely nothing. All right, it's taco time. F I have the hiccups. This should go well. If painting your opposite hand and having the hiccups isn't a challenge, I don't know what is. <laughs> Slowly, carefully. Uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, who cares? It's the pink, pinky. Okay, last nail. We can do this. I'm gonna try and show you here that I got it in my cuticles. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna make this experiment better or worse. Take off the stick and take away my hiccups, please. Ah, it's burning my my eczema. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll see you in seven days. Bye. Well. Fuck. Yep, I don't really understand because I wasn't even doing anything like crazy. I wasn't scratching any people. But if you look closely, you see at the bottom how it's kind of like sticking out there. Kind of have a feeling that that was the point of weakness that made this nail peel off. I'm just gonna redo that one. Oh, see, look, I did the same thing on this nail. Maybe I should just preemptively take it off and put it back on properly. Ah, f it, I'll just take them all off. My experiment's already ruined. So much fun to peel though. Okay, this time I'm I'm gonna really clean my nail beds properly. It's probably better if I don't talk while I'm trying to concentrate. I really don't want to buff my nails, but the gel people told me to. Washing my hands. Oh, I hate water. Cleaning your nails with alcohol is weird. I thought that belonged in your mouth. Apparently, your nails can't be wet. Focus. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a gel maker. Look at me go, guys. I'm concentrating so hard right now. Do, 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 do. Second coat. Top coat. Cancer coat. Get rid of that sticky sticky. This is gonna be great. I just realized I hate this color. <laughs> okay, so I think I did it better this time around. I'll see you in seven days, hopefully. You have seven days. I'm back! And I'm so happy to report that this is still on my hand. I gotta be honest though, I didn't really enjoy wearing them for an entire week because they're not hollow. Anyways, let's see if I can peel them off. First, I'm just gonna load up my nails with my favorite nail oil to help soften it and peel off the jelly here. I just realized it kind of looks like I'm taking out my drugs. Like, uh, yes! That's how I feel about this anyway. It's my crack! <sighs> it smells so good. Okay. Let's actually do this. <laughs> the more you wash your hands or get oil on your nails, the easier they're going to lift, whether it's gel or regular polish, because that's just how the peel off base coat works. Peel off base coat is going to come off quicker than normal nail polish. You'd think that would be obvious because it's called a peel off base coat, but a lot of people ask me all the time, I can't get my peel off base coat to last more than a week. Well, yeah, because the peel off base coat is designed to make the polish come off easy, so it doesn't make sense that it would last for as long as normal nail polish. Do you want your nail polish to come off earlier and easier, or do you want your nail polish to stay on longer, but you have to use regular nail polish remover to take it off? The choice is yours, but you can only have one. Oh yeah, you see bread in there. Yeah, my skin is so dry. <laughs> curse you, Winter, curse you. Okay, we ready? We ready? We ready? Oh, I'm so ready, I'm so ready for this. Get off of me, root beer. Oh, I found a nice spot. Peel you. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So the root beer float turned into a cherry float and now my nails are pink. 
Um, I guess I now need to make a video on why pink nails don't matter. I guess it's that the brown pigment in this gel polish is very pigmented. Good use of words, Christine. Oh well, I mean, I don't discriminate against any color of stained nails, really. Equality for all. Pink nails matter. So do yellow nails. Okay, let's see if I can get you off. This one seems to be a little trickier. Oh, there we go. Ah! <laughs> So just to be clear, the reason why my nails are pink is not the peel-off base coat. Because the peel-off base coat is clear and it has no coloring in it. But, but, it is possible that the peel-off base coat isn't really a stain protector. Something to do with the formula, I guess. But I'm still pretty happy with how this gel polish peeled off after an entire week. Holy shit, that one's even more pink. <laughs> Honestly, it's just some nail polishes stain more than others and you don't really know until they stain you. Look, it looks like I have nail polish on. It's like my nails are blushing. <laughs> it's because they're naked, so they're shy. I don't gotta do my nails today. Just kidding, I'm gonna put hollow on them because I'm so bored right now. It's kind of weird how it only stained some sections of the nail, eh? So even though the gel did peel off the nails. That must sound so weird to random people. Oh, I'm just gonna peel off my nails. The job isn't completely done because you can see there's still bits of gel on the underside of my nail. So I'm gonna have to use acetone or something to remove that. Boo. Overall thoughts and conclusions. You can use at least this peel off base coat with gel nail polish, but it will probably come off too fast if you apply it the wrong way like I did the first time. A peel off base coat can last with gel polish for up to a week. I'm not testing it for longer than that, but you probably still have to be careful about how you applied it and sealed the edges and didn't get too much gel polish all up in your cuticle or too much peel off base coat there. I definitely still have not mastered the application of gel polish, but uh, who said that? this was a nail polish channel. <laughs> as far as I can see from my free tests, using a peel off base coat may actually reduce damage to removing gel polish because you don't have to jab at your nail and chip it at a way to get the polish off. That is what partly leads to damaging your natural nail when you start hacking away at it like a serial killer. As always, I put the link down below to this crack that I use all the time. I use it under my nail art designs too so I can peel them off and save them. Now it's that time again when we've peeled off our nails we're gonna add them to the peely bag. Da -da -da -da. Oh my god, my peels are in here. These represent all the journeys and trips I have taken in my life. Ooh. Get back in there. I feel like I could sell this on eBay for a stupid amount of money. Simply Nailogical's peely bag. One hundred. Do I hear one hundred dollars? One hundred and ten dollars. Two hundred dollars. A thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. For all my victims. All right, so please subscribe to my channel because I asked you so nicely. And thanks so much for watching me and my pink nails. We'll see y'all later. Bye!